Hey again guys, how are y'all doing today? I have something that I'm really excited about to film and I hope you are too. We're gearing up for fall, even though it's still in the 90s here. Um, but I have a jacket obsession. I don't know if I've told you that before. Jacket, shoes, it's too much. And as most of you know, we've moved into this beautiful old home that has little to no closet space. Our last house had like an abundance of closets and we turned one of our um, guest rooms into another closet. And so I'm coming from tons of closet space to practically none. And so my jacket obsession needs to go away. With all that being said, I I'm about to try on every jacket I own. Are you ready to see an insane amount of coats, jackets? I'm not sure the difference, but let's go. I think I need to preface this by saying that this is a judgment-free zone. Pile one. Oh, pile two. all let's start by counting let's see what we're starting with so that's 48 jackets I'm about to try on um, we're gonna have to do rapid fire I'm gonna try it on say keep donate Poshmark and let's see if I can get through this without sweating sneezing or giving up so let's go all right y'all starting off with the bang this is actually my mother-in-law's jacket she just recently gave it to me um, she went through her clothes. That one's cute. I'm gonna keep it for now. I've just got it. Haven't had a chance to even try to style it. So keep for now. I don't know if I'm able to do this. Like something about like haven't worn these jackets in a year is like stirring up all this dust. And I'm just gonna be doing this the whole video. But let's try. Let's try. All right. This is also from my mother-in-law. I think the first few in this pile are. Oh yes. That cute. I think that's gonna be a great coat for fall and winter. All right, also for my mother-in-law, exact same blazer that I just tried on, but this one's in purple. Super cute. This one is also from my mother-in-law. Obviously that pile <laughs> I'm starting with from her. Hmm, dramatic. What do you think? This is a maybe. I think it's a cute for now. I haven't even had a chance to like style these, so I'm gonna keep these for a little while. All right, last one from my mother-in-law, or at least in this section. One more blazer. This one black. I think it's the exact same. Um, again, love it. Let's try to style it this winter. How would I ever get rid of this, y'all? <laughs> I mean, we have to keep it, right? We just have to. My skim's little hoodie. Um, I might, I think I'm gonna sell this. I think I'm gonna pop one of this. It's like brand new. So good in that like cropped jacket, but I just never love styling like a cropped jacket. I know that's so popular, but flash mark. Next is my farm coat. This is a must. This is my winter staple. This is like like my robe when I'm cold in the winter. Um, I wear it almost every day. Have to keep it. Right. It's not an actual Letterman jacket. Um, I have my Letterman jacket somewhere. This is just that kind of collegiate style that's going on right now. I can't remember. I think a friend gave this to me. Anyway, 
it might be time to part with it. Next up is this blazer. I think I'm getting rid of it. It's too small. Oh yeah. It's too small for me. Oh, can't even bend my arms. I bought it for a year because you know blazers are a thing and she was really into stylish things but she's kind of moved on from that so <clears throat> much too tight for me. Poshmark. I'm going to sell this too. And then in case I went camping all the time. This was like just a nice little North Face layer to have but I got 50 coats and this is not one that I wear anymore so Poshmark. I think I don't know that this even fits into a jacket category. It's more of a shacket. But I have a lot. I think I'm gonna get rid of this one. All right, another shacket. This one's thicker and it has like a, a lining. I like the fit better, it's bigger. But again, I have so many jackets I love. I don't think this is one that I reach for, so. All right. This is a blazer I had from last year, and since I kept those blazers for my mother-in-law, this one's more form-fitting. I think I like the other ones better, so I'll get rid of this one. And this old wrinkly thing. It's like a long duster type coat. Really thin, fits well over clothes, which I love. I don't wear it very often. I might wear it on Poshmark. And this coat probably ain't going anywhere. If you watched my um, Purging My Tree House, I showed you. This is my like Balenciaga, Balenciaga coat, which is not very cute, but I love the tag and I love the designer. I don't know. The more I try it on, the more can make this work right. This is definitely keep for now. This little Ralph Lauren coat. I already know that it's gonna go to my Poshmark. If you know me by now, you know I love everything unique and different. And let me get closer. Like it's such a fun coat. Coat. I don't know. Blazer. Like the details are so cute, but it would look better on somebody smaller than me. Oh my gosh. The thought of putting this over my head. No, I didn't think this through. All right, I'll do it. I'll do it. Get with it, Lauren. All right, this also goes back to my days of constant camping. Ooh, should I get rid of it? Probably. I don't wear it. I have other coats that would work if we do go camping. Y'all, my Poshmark pile is officially bigger than my keep pile. Yes. All right. Love this. Oh, I think I'm going to keep this. This was just one that I just loved throwing on for funsies and comforts. It's big and baggy and I like it. So one of my favorite jackets of all time. See, when I put this on, I'm wondering why I'm keeping that um, one from Target, because this one is Hummers. Oh my gosh. Like, this is my dream jacket. It's actually really warm. Gosh, though, I love this jacket. It's actually reversible, but meh, who likes that side? This one's so much cuter. Keep 100% keep. I love it. I love clothes, y'all. <laughs> I'm cheating and I'm not trying on the next three jackets. This one, I love it. It's Columbia. Pattern's cute. This is like a base layer for camping. I am going to keep this because I don't have a ton of like this type of base layer. No, I'm going to keep it. Don't want to put it over my head. And the reason I'm not trying on the next two, they're both C.W. Williams jackets. Um, my old company. Oh, I know this like Aztec print is out of fashion, but that makes me like it more. I've had this for a number of years and I love it. It's so cozy. It's starting to get, you know, these kind of teddy coats start to look milk after a while and it has no pockets. All right, y'all. 
You're just gonna have to let me know. This is a maybe. All right, I'm not even halfway and the sweat is real. Let's keep going. Now that that pep talk is over, this is a keep faux show. He won't say that anymore. Let's bring back faux show. You ever love putting on coats from last year and finding like chapstick or something in the pocket? I love it. Don't you love that I just put it right back to you? Yeah, I'm gonna keep this. This is fun. Oh, it's so good. Like oversized denim, patches. Yes, yes, yes. It's another camping jacket. Yes, we used to camp all the time. <laughs> this one, I think I will keep. I got rid of my Purple Mountain hardware because it was like over your head. I like that this one zips. I feel like I would get more use out of this one. Although the other one's cuter, but this one functions better for me. So I think I'm going to keep this one. Sell that one. If you're having a bad day, or you don't want people to notice you, you just want to disappear in the world, you just want to feel like somebody's hugging you all the time. Yes. I like the little bits of details. Kind of keeps it sporty, but just gonna disappear over here. Nobody talked to me. I'm hiding from the world today. This jacket, I wear about once a year, and every time I clean out my clothes, it's in my maybe pot because it doesn't fit. <laughs> but I love it. So different and unique, um, but <laughs> that's all I can do. It's just too tight. <sighs> but it's so cute. Keep. <laughs> doing so good at the beginning and now I'm just keeping everything because this is also a keep. A little farm jacket. Oh I love it. Love the, the collar and the quilting and oh, it put win-win. Alright I should have like put all like the ones I have to throw over my head first so I could just have gotten them out of the way. Keep. It stays in my maybe pile every time I go through my jackets. And not because I don't love it, like I end up keeping it because I love it. But I mean, you've seen the amount of jackets I've kept. And I live in Georgia where jackets aren't a huge necessity. All right, Poshmark. Stylish, no. Helpful, yes. Definitely keeping this. Um, it packs down really small and it's pretty warm too. So, hair tie. This one I always end up keeping. I don't wear it very often because I feel like a, a school teacher. Or like a mom, which I am one, but I don't know. It's just kind of a basic denim jacket. But I wasn't keeping it because there is a time and place for a basic denim jacket. I was shopping in Goodwill one day, and it was like in the middle of summer, but they had their AC on full blast. Like I was frigid, freezing. So I put this on and like shopped around and walked into the register and I was like, oh, oh, tag, you know, scan this too. So I don't know that I would have bought it, but I bought it. I think the zipper's busted. I can't get the zipper to work. So I feel bad selling it. <clears throat> Otherwise I'd probably just sell it because it's a really cute Nike kind of quilted jacket. 
But since the zipper's busted, I think I'm gonna keep it. I'm feeling like a big old hot mess. Oh. <laughs> also got this for my mother-in-law. I'm gonna keep this for now. Haven't had a chance to wear it. I like it. It's cute. It's not a jacket that I believe ever went into production. Um, it was just something that I think it was Free People was working on. So it's just a sample. And I love it. Um, you can see where they say grind right here. Like they were working on putting this jacket into production. And um, so they have like notes on it, which I have just worn it. Like if you take it off, it just looks normal underneath. But um, I just thought it was cool with that. Like it you know, told a little story. So this one is a favorite of mine. And I don't wear vest very often. Bigger chested people, you know, it just kind of adds bulk where you don't need it. And I'm not a big vest person. But I have two, so let's maybe at least get rid of one. First one is this Patagonia. Like, when me and Kaysen were dating and we had no kids, we truly went camping just about every weekend. Like, that was just, we were poor and loving life. Kaysen was working at REI, so the little money we had, we spent there. I think this is a sale. This one I might keep, because it still gives off the same vibe, but it's a little more stylish. Got the fur lined. Yeah, I'm gonna keep this one for now. I have a feeling this will sit in my closet for a year, never get worn, and then I'll sell it next year. <laughs> this I got at a thrift store. I'm pretty sure it's handmade. There's no tags or anything on it. Um, but I love it. It has no buttons. So I've worn it open and then I've also worn it like with a button up shirt underneath and then just like safety pin right here and you couldn't tell. But fun keeping. This is a keep. I'll try it on just because I said I was trying on the jacket when cold. What is the difference between a jacket and a coat? Is it like different areas say it differently or do they mean different things? Anyway, this I'm keeping solely because my boyfriend bought it for me about 17 years ago when we first met. I don't really wear it anymore, but I'm a nostalgic gal, so gotta keep it. I'm losing my mind, y'all, I'm sorry. Man, there's something about, it's like that Southwest, kind of hippie boho vibe that I'm just into. I actually got it um, when I was pregnant, I think with my second, um, and I got it in like a 3XL because I was pregnant mostly over winter, so I could just like still fit into it. But I still love it because you just wrap it tight. It's like you're still get to the pockets. It's like a robe. Definitely keeping this one too. This beauty right here makes me want to get on a horse. Right. Love it. Just want to whip. Do I need this coat? No. Do I feel like, what's her name? Almost famous? Penny Lane, is that her name? The obsession with crazy, beautiful, huge, interesting coats continues with my second to last Jason's grandmother made this coat. I'm just overjoyed that I'm able to hang it in my closet and wear it with pride and honor. Yes. Definitely. All right, guys. That is all of my jackets. A lot of this stuff will probably already be on Poshmark by the time this video goes up. And every couple days, I list another 10 or so items on there, five or 10 items. So check that out. And if you like this video, 
I not only have an obsession with jackets, I have an obsession with clothes in general. So we can do shoes, we can do jeans, we can do sweaters and sweatshirts, whatever you want. But with that being said, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to even watch a silly girl who loves clothes just go through her clothes and just fall in love with them all over again. Um, this is a great time for me. It's something that I enjoy immensely. So hopefully you get some joy out of it too. And I hope you have a lovely day. Um, I want to see your favorite coat. Like, do you have like something crazy or flashy or over the top that you just, you just feel like the queen that you are when you put on this particular coat? Show it to me. I want to see it. Tag me. Um, let me like drool over it and be a little bit jealous of you in the best way possible. Have a good day. See you next time. Bye.